see you at the team. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is Tuesday, February 27th. We got another chart talk coming at you. It's been a few weeks since we last spoke. Uh, so, you know, without further ado, let me uh, jump into a little market outlook. So, I mean, the uh, the SPY, I mean, the S&P 500, we're in this like beautiful uptrend right here. Uh, we were worried about a pullback last week in the queues uh, before those NVIDIA earnings. So, uh, you know, we're, we're holding this uh, trend line steady. This is this is the NVIDIA earnings. We kind of gap down. Then NVIDIA came out with these huge earnings once again, reignited the market and the AI trade and all that that we've been dealing with. Um, so right now it looks good. So we had this huge 3% move in the QQQ and we zoom in. And, you know, this is just kind of sideways action. This is like the healthiest absolute possible thing that could have happened the first three days of this week. Open high, just kind of mosey lower. You know, we dip down today, buyers step in. So things are looking very, very good. Um, definitely, uh, I'm definitely, definitely being aggressive in this environment. Um, growth names, momentum names are moving really well. The IWM is what I want to talk about. Um, it's really setting up for a huge move here. So as we know, the small caps have been, you know, in this huge consolidation, ran up in the beginning of the year, and it's been kind of choppy around since. And it's really reminding me of, you know, not as tight, so it won't be, you know, as explosive, I don't believe, but it reminds me of the S&P consolidation last year from in April, June, that led to this launch pad market. Um, this is the official break of the downtrend right there. Um, retest the area and, of course, finish back at highs. But um, you see how we're loading up right here at the level. It's just very choppy action back and forth. That's kind of the, the indices just powering up for this move. So what I'm thinking happens is, uh, you know, if this, this PCE is the uh, big news Thursday, that's going to be uh, very tied to rates and small caps are the most tied to rates of anything. Mm -hmm. That's why they've been kind of held back this year. If that number comes in light, I think this breakout could begin. And, uh, you know, we really see the small caps start to participate in this market rally. Um, so that, that's kind of it for me on the market. outlook. if you want to touch on some things, yeah, I'll, uh, let me send it over there. All right. So you touched on the cues and get rid of this chart. Touch on small cap. So the other few sectors, keeping a close eye on, similar with those bases. Again, biotechs are kind of breaking out today. We see this same, you know, the small caps, as you mentioned, have been basing for nearly two years. We can see this base starts in 2022. It's two years later, and it's starting to flag, as you mentioned, for that breakout. And we're seeing the same thing in a few other sectors. IBB, biotech sector, same thing. Two-year-long base. Today, you know, we talked about it in the big picture this weekend, expecting this breakout through this 140 area. And today it's starting to finally push out through that base, similar expectation that we're looking at, you're talking about with the small caps. The other sector, keeping a close eye on, is the energy sector. Uh, so again, we can see this macro breakout setting up through this 130, you know, in time through all-time highs. And in the short term, we can see this like 120, 121 area that we can see has been resistance again for nearly about two years. It's been developing under these two areas. So just keeping an eye on those two, you know, those two main sectors. And even if you look at some individual names, we have like Exxon that's setting up, you know, very similar kind of base break through this like 105 area. So just keep an eye on those, those sectors. So I know it's been a few weeks shake since we've done this. We had some, you know, you had some crazy calls, you know, in SMCI, in NVIDIA, in CART, so I feel like if there's any trades you want to go over, is you know, dime a dozen on any you want to pick to. Yeah, I just figured instead of going through names, I just go over the kind of positions I'm in. Yeah. Some of the kind of stuff right now. Um, all right. Well, newest addition to the crew, this Apple uh, today. Did you see this? I did not look. I've been boxing all day today, so I've not looked at that many charts. Other than Hood was the only one I was keeping on today. So, but what's going on so, with Apple? Um, so Apple, Apple today has been weak. Obviously, I'll check out the daily. It's been kind of testing this huge support level. Mm -hmm. uh, people were calling out like Apple's in trouble, Apple's in trouble. And I was watching it and all this crazy volume came in and news came out that they're stopping, you know, the work on the Apple car and they're going to put all those resources into artificial intelligence, of course. Mm -hmm. So like that, that ended up being a catalyst. I, I bought this 180.50 and then added 181 just against lows. Um, ended up being, you know, pretty, pretty sick entry. I wasn't even really planning on. The thing is the, uh, the weekly chart here, just looks so nice on the weekly buying mm -hmm. that support level now. So 
is able to break through that inside week high, that 185 could really get going. Could be a nice entry. Um, we got into this AMD a little bit today. You see a 15 minute chart, it had a really nice dip and reversal. Um, kind of entered on the 15 here and added through highs here. Um, this is so again, day trading entries into weekly chart trades. Um, I think this this AMD is setting up to uh, give another leg higher. So watching this uh, this weekly flag develop, ideally, you know, we had the entry at the sport by today that will, you know, you, we'll be able to capture those breakout move through 185 with our tight stop entry, 176 versus uh, 172.49, whatever it is. Um, actually, hot name, Bank of America I got into today. Okay. Um, just super, super tight price action. Kind of want to uh, look like it was going to go yesterday. Squatted down to the low level. Came back very strong today. Just just very tight consolidation. Upper right charge. You know, very, very nice uh, setup here. This PLTR I got into a little bit today. Not a little bit. But um, inside day here, uh, you know, just kind of blasted off through the level. Uh, I think this one could, you know, make a move back through highs. This has been a market leader. It's in that AI trade. All that stuff is, you know, still very strong. Uh, we bought we bought back this crisp on earnings. Uh, Heaven called this out. This is a great call, Heaven. So uh, it, earnings day was this day right here. So crisp, we know, went on this crazy run. Then here's earnings day. And, uh, you know, virtually gave an uh, opening range breakout the next day. Kind of just flagged up that level. We bought that 8350 or whatever it was. Just this tight stop here. It's kept us in the trade. And, uh, you know, just managing this thing. See how it's just riding this uh, eight-day simple moving average higher. That's that's the trail right now. So stop just kind of below yesterday's low. Um, looks like it could begin to break out tomorrow. As you said, biotech's very strong. So Chris was looking good for another move higher. Uh, we got into this lift today. Didn't close as uh, well as it opened, but very tight setup here. Blasted off on earnings. You know, kind of a change of composure in the stock. Pulls back into that support area, buy through the, this inside day here. And, you know, just keeping a tight stop below this little area. That one's looking good. Hood has been the beast of all beasts. Couldn't have, couldn't have dreamed of a better breakout than this hood. So as we know, this like 14 level was the, the move here, the tell on this hood. So the market was chopping around towards the end of the, this last week, and it just wouldn't turn down. There's really no... There's no pullbacks. It's all flags, you know, every day, every day since it rose, began to rise again, rips up flags, rips up flags, rips up flags, rips up. And it just continues to go. Uh, gave up some good stock today. Kind of upset about it when it ripped higher, pulled in, got mm -hmm. out of some, definitely regret it, but still, still, still pretty healthy position there. Uh, got into this TTD today. Um, this one really nice setup here. Uh, huge move on earnings, pulls into the support level, cements that support, gives us a little double bottom and bought through today's highs on the opening range breakout. And now you see it's riding again, this eight day higher. I'm just keeping a low day stop there below 82. It looks very good. This coin, woof, didn't expect, you know, I, I uh, made this the trade a week. It hit the one, it hit the target in two days. <laughs> and I guess so, it was up 15%. I was like, this is, you know, the craziest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the tell was this Bitcoin. I mean, it, it looked like it was going to break down and reverse here. Um, this was over the weekend. And then all these names, Coin, Mara, Riot, all these names, um, all those Bitcoin names pop. So, I mean, we got into this one. Super, super nice entry, 170 here. And because these names are gapping up so much in the pre-market, uh, kind of like telling they wanted to explode, along with a much muted rest of the market, the Qs, NVIDIA, all these things, nothing was really showing life. Risk names, however, really were. We were looking at ARM, super risk name, this coin. Um, so, you know, we just bought this 170 with a tight stop low of day, 168.39, like a dollar seventy risk. I think it was up 20 bucks from the entry in, in an hour and a half. So, I mean, can't, can't be much better than that. And then uh, I, this cart, I mean, I was going to give you this credit for cart. You were calling this out as well. Mm -hmm. um, this one's still going here. I uh, sold a little bit today. Just I have so much on, so I need to get a little comfortable. But uh, here's the tell. The tell in this cart is just you see all the, the it's huge volume down here. You can't really see, uh, and it's just kind of just 
uh, a guy at the trading firm we used to trade at used to call it barbarians at the gate when it just like looks like you know they're just like banging on look at these green mm -hmm. bars just like banging on banging on banging on resistance once it finally breaks through barbarians again through the gate and now you see the breakout ensuing honestly this is acting so well i think this is really really just getting ready to launch to like the 40s i sold some today and I'm, again we're ready but uh lot, lots going on those are that's the bulk of my like heavy positions there's a lot going on right, right now out there it all depends on how the c uh pce goes wednesday if we get an up move in the market tomorrow i'll, I'll likely trim some just to uh make myself a little more comfortable but uh, other than that, you know, lots going on right now. Lots, uh, lots looking good. Very, very much risk on situation for uh, momentum names moving this well. You know, we're, we're entering these trades with really tight stops for the breakout and things are really breaking out right now. There's, there's not many times I've seen, uh, you know, so many names setting up so well, the way we like to trade them really tight support buys with huge upside. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm going to continue putting risk on until, you know, we see something materially change. People just think kind of, you know, we're up too much. So it's, you know, got to be the end of it. We're just going sideways while we're up so much, you know, can't be much healthier than that. I'm with you on that. There was a, on like the cart and hood, there was like, I'll do go over like a little lesson. Um, at least the lesson I learned. So for cart, again, visually, you, can, you know, you can kind of just see here, like you mentioned the Barbarians, the gate thing. It just, you know, for those few months that it was setting up like basing down here, like visually you just see a lot of, you know, it's like mix match, a lot of red candles, a lot of green candles. And then- right. This like after earnings, you just clearly the buyers are there. Are there? The, yeah, but the mistake I made was this day. We, we were talking about like thirty two looks like resistance. You know, this is that prior pivot high. Some of them are some of the members were selling into it, and my mistake. I'll go on like a fifteen. Was yeah, that fuel sell off I had that day. Was this like yeah? So the my like mistake was I just had that lower day stop, and the lesson was like I should have let you know, the day kind of settle out before, yeah. you know, instead of having that 15 minute low initially, I should have let the market kind of flush itself out. It would have obviously went lower than where I got stopped out. But by the end of the day, it looked, you know, it looks phenomenal. Yeah. And that was like my lesson I took with like hood today, which kind of like the same thing and had that gap up. It's yeah, like, I got, I got caught with that too. I just had too much stock. I need to get some off, but I did the same thing. I should have let it settle out. So that was like the lesson I was talking to, uh, my coach Zeller about this because we were in this as well. And I was like, I'm just going to let this settle out and pivot. And then I'll raise that stop. So once it put in that low at 1550 and it started to reverse higher, and it was back near like 16. I'm like, okay, if it goes back down here to 1550 later today, it rolls back over. It's probably going to go lower. But that was like the, the mistake I made in cart taking it into this one, where it was like, let that low get put in and, and wait for that pivot. Um, right. So that was just kind of, you know, the better lesson, um, but again, this hood is crazy. Again, like I typically hate these like lower price names, like under yeah. $3 a share. But again, it was just such a massive base that's been setting up that I was like, yeah. you know, kind of have to. And we're kind of, we've, this is something we've seen over and over again uh, in the last two quarters is these beaten down names, they beat earnings, then they kind of gap to that resistance level, consolidate a little bit of resistance and have these huge, huge, huge base breaks higher. It's just the trade that's been working over and over again. Yeah. Um, going over a couple other names. Again, I was talking about how energy's been setting up. So I got into this Exxon. Hasn't really done much. Added some, again, I got like ticked in today for another ad, you know, versus 102 half area. Earnings aren't for quite some time. So if there is some love out of the energy sector and Exxon gets this break here, again, this is not going to be like a hood breakout or a cart breakout or these risk names. Again, Exxon's, you know, a behemoth oil name that's not going to have these dramatic moves. Even a move to 120 is a dramatic move in the stock. So lower beta trade compared to the other names we've been mentioning. But, you know, sometimes you don't want to put on, you don't want to be in those riskier names. These can be, you know, lower beta kind of trades. Same with this MUR, same little base break here today and really nothing crazy out of the action from it. But, you know, dollar risk here, you know, we'll see how that one goes. Um, let's see. Check, what out, out. Check out PXD. I like that one. Oh, see. Yeah, through this, yeah, through this, uh, okay. like two. Yeah, so I had this one on the radar as well. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Some barbarians at that gate. Let's see. I mean, there's just been so many names lately. Um, yeah, I know you're, you're so, yeah, yeah, you mentioned love here in that one. I'm not in that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. KFY one today. Thank you. Let's see. We have this eight. So again, we we're talking about the small caps earlier. IWM is potentially breaking out of that massive base. 
We have this H-U-R-N, which is a small cap name. Blue, uh, nice 108 breakout setting up here. Earnings are today, actually. Um, so we'll see how they report. Could be a potential opening range breakout tomorrow. So keep an eye on this name. We got VRSK, another name for down the road. Again, earnings out of the way through this 250. You know, it's been setting up since September. We can see, you know, four or five attempts here. And, you know, we can just see these continuous higher lows in the name even after, you know, not the best earnings report. And then lastly, we have this WD40, WDFC, nice little wedge forming here on the daily, you know, nice earnings reaction, just getting super tight here. So just keeping an eye on a couple of those names as well. So that's all I got on my end. All right. Anything else you want to go over? No, I mean, I think we covered it all. Big PCE Thursday. You know, we'll see how things shake out from there. Other than that, you know, things moving well. Let's hope they continue to move well. Ooh, that's Other than nice. that, <laughs> everyone who's on that pre-order list, I'll have these all shipped out in the next 24 hours. Um, so I can't wait for you guys to get these. And a uh, little reminder is these actually, before I have to explain to everyone, there's a key in each of these cases, and you can actually lock the case yeah. right here on the front. Just so I don't have to like explain to everyone. And the case comes out. So you can take, I know you can't see it, but you can take this out of nice out of that and you just see the key underneath. So just something I don't have to explain a hundred times. A little tutorial on how to open this case. So hope you guys enjoy it. You hopefully have it in the next couple of days. Came out sick. And uh that's all I got. All right, all right. And with that. I think we are good and we'll catch you guys next week.